Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from AnimatorsForum.com, as well as Real Illusion Forum. And it was on the Real Illusion Forum, somebody asked about using Character Creator and bringing in Dad's clothing and hair. I went back looking at all my tutorials, and I realized I just don't have a real basic uh, tutorial on that process. And it's a real simple process, so let's let's do one just to show you some of the e how easy this is. So this is, I just loaded in, basically I put in the Gen 8 female, just loaded her in, into there. And then I went down to some clothing that I happen to have. I happen to have this, uh, where, wherever this piece of clothing is. Oh, where the heck this clothing is now? I've lost the clothing. I've got so much clothes. Uh, clothing collection. Well, it was somewhere in here. I'm not even sure where. Oh, All Seasons. There we go. All Seasons. And then I loaded in this, uh, this short dress, this All Seasons outfit. And then with that character still selected, so I always want to have the character selected when you're loading in things, I went to hair and let's just find let's just take Ashley here okay so we'll just put Ashley hair on her okay so now we're all set we have this Ashley hair and this outfit and stuff so I'm going to go file and easily export it and we're going to export it as uh, Ashley which I've already tried and we're going to do it with um, the these settings here so see those settings that's exactly what we want those settings there accept that and it's going to go ahead and write that out for uh, us. It takes a little while because it has to go through and, um, you know, con I don't know what it's doing exactly. <laughs> why, why it takes so long. It takes a little bit of time, but I'm on my fast machine. And now we go into transform, uh, the character creator, and we click the transformer button. Okay, that's all we have to do, transformer button. Pick that Ashley file. And what it does first is it looks at the file and makes sure that it's a actual Genesis figure and it matches up. And then it brings this up. Now, if you use advanced, the, the reason you use advanced is to get the skin for the character that you're loading in. In this particular case, we don't really care about the characters per se. We care about the outfit and the hair. So we don't want to use advanced because advanced takes a lot longer and gets all those textures. Basic is absolutely fine for clothing and hair. That's all we want to do. And there all the stuff is here. So we want to look at this stuff and make sure that it seems to be reasonable. Uh, seems fairly reasonable. The hair is, however, came in as cloth. So we do want to change that to hair. Uh, whoops, to hair. And the rest of it looks okay. Now it does say the zippers and the stopper came in as accessories and are bound the wrong bone. We'll take care of that later. We're not really too worried about that. Uh, so we say okay, and then it's going to go through and it's going to do a number of things, but basically it's going to bring in that outfit and that hair uh, and that figure as well. It's going to re actually remap the Genesis 8 figure to the CC3 default female, um, and that's okay too. It really doesn't matter. Uh, we're just uh, basically interested in the clothing and the hair in this particular point. And there it is. And so it all comes in. Now, there's some other things we'll want to do with this. For example, for the skirt, we're going to want to put physics on. And I, I have demos on how to do this. I'm not going to go through that now, but uh, I will point you to the demos on how to, how to do that. Uh, but we would want to do that. The same thing for the hair is that we'd want to change, uh, uh, put some physics on the hair, uh, maybe change some of the opacities a little bit. But again, I'm not going to do that process. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to bring in. And then what we would do is we'd go into the clothing areas here, and we would go and we would save that out. Now, we could save out the individual items, so we could save out the skirt, and uh, then we could save out this this top, this uh, whatever this leather top is. And the same for the hair. We could also save the whole thing. So if we wanted to save the whole outfit, we could come in here and save it as, a, as an entire outfit, hit the plus sign here, and this is going to create this, um, this character with this outfit in here. We'll call it Ashley for now. And what we've done when, we, when we've saved the whole thing, actually, uh, hopefully I didn't save, yeah, all right, I'm there. Uh, so now what we've done when we've saved the whole thing is now we can load in another character and apply that outfit to it. So for example, I can load in Atlas. Now you might say to yourself, does Atlas really want to be wearing this kind of outfit? And the answer is no, he really doesn't. He doesn't identify in that way. But uh, I just wanted to show you how, how that possibility can be. So we, we've loaded the, the we floated another character in, and then we put the outfit on him. So, <laughs> it doesn't look great on him. I mean, you know, Atlas looks a little silly cross-dressing, but at least you can see how easily it fits. And there's a little bit of breakthrough here. We would probably solve that by hiding the mesh. We could also solve it by possibly conforming it. I'm not a big fan of using conform unless you have to. 
Uh, but you can do that if you want, and that may clear up a little bit of that occlusion. Uh, but it did, so there. So there's, a, so there's possibilities, but there's all kinds of possibilities for that. But I just wanted to show you, this is the basics on how you would go ahead and load in uh, uh, stuff. Oh, you might say, oh, hey, I loaded in that outfit, the hair didn't come across. And that's correct. The hair is, is not part of the costume. We want to save the hair separately in the uh, hair place, uh, wherever that is, up here, uh, somewhere up here. Uh, that, 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 cloth. And then, uh, no, it's not cloth. It is somewhere, somewhere up here. My brain is going fuzzy because I haven't eaten for a while. Uh, where the heck am I? Uh, there and there and there we go. Hair. Okay. So hair. So that's that's where we would want to save hair for those characters. And then we could allow, we, this is all dad's hair. So you could load in any dad's uh, hair that you want on any, on, again, on any character creator. And then it just matches up to the hair. So so there you go. You have, you have hair. So again, real, real simple to load in any Daz outfits and hair in Character Creator 3. Almost takes nothing to it. And hopefully this gives you at least an idea of the potentials and the possibilities. And we'll see you on the forum.